Forces Remembrance Day on the 15th of January was formally celebrated on the 11th of November every year to coincide with the Remembrance Day for the World War II veterans in the British Commonwealth of Nations. The date was changed to the 15th of January in Nigeria to commemorate the surrender of Biafran troops to the federal troops in 1970, which signaled an end to the Nigerian Civil War. Senator Magnus Abe represents River Southeast in the 8th Senate. He says fallen heroes and their families should be adequately catered for. Beyond this, he believes improving the lives of Nigerians affected by insurgency in the Northeast is equally crucial. You must not only have an effective military, but it's also important that we develop effective social systems to be able to re-educate, educate, and then improve the general quality of life of um, the generality of our population. Increased allocation for security is key to ending the fight against insurgency, but also is accountability. Maintaining security is expensive, particularly in a world where, you know, all sorts of criminals and um, terrorists and agitators are also developing their own skills. So developing the skills, ability and equipment of our security forces is a synchronon for progress in that area. The national chairman of the Advanced People's Democratic Alliance, Shitu Mohammed, agrees with this. You must put up incentives. One, that will cop this war, that will not allow us to even get to fight insurgency. And secondly, we must now look at how do we take the welfare of the Nigerian armed forces. 353 soldiers have said to be casualties of the war from 2016 to date. The best way to honor the fallen heroes is perhaps to continue to pay honor to those still alive. From the nation's capital, Abuja, Georgina Ndukwe Zainka, STV News.